Hello everybody, welcome to the course on dynamics and control. My name is Pedro Albertos from the Polytechnic University of Valencia in Spain. And <coughs> today we are going to deal with uh, module 2, second part, about models of uh, systems and signals. In particular we are going to deal with uh, analogies. This is a very important concept because uh, we will see that it doesn't matter what is the technological support of the system, the behavior, the dynamic behavior of the system can be modeled, can be represented independently of this uh, technological support. And then we will uh, describe the analogies between different kind of systems uh, as we will see during this session. So this is the second module in the course uh, about models of systems and signals and we saw before the representations, today the analogies and the next uh, item will be the formalism. This will be a, a bit more formal and with some mathematics uh, involved. So <coughs> we saw that uh, the system and the signals are connected and there are many kind of signals attached to the system. Some of them are inputs influencing the behavior of the system and some of them are providing information. So we define a system as a set of interconnected elements with time varying magnitudes, some of them being accessible, measurable, and with some manipulated variables in general, not all the systems. For instance, there are some systems that we will call autonomous system, like for instance the solar system, and in this case the system is a set of heavenly bodies with a time varying position. Uh, we can access to this uh, position, they provide some information, but of course there is no any option to manipulate the solar system. So in this case, without inputs, without uh, manipulated inputs, we say that this is an autonomous system. In the case of a forced system, for instance here we have a, a kitchen oven. <coughs> this is an electrical oven, we have some commands to put the different temperatures, the different uh, heatings and so on. We can open, close the door, we can put in food or more or less food and there is uh, also the option to uh, start on the, the fan and there are many variables like temperature, temperature outside, inside, the lights and so on. <coughs> so in a schematic way for this uh, physical system we can uh, have this uh, a schematic model where we can see that uh, the way this oven behaves is due to the balance between uh, heats there is a heat supplied by the heater and then this heat is transferred inside and is transferred also to the environment and some of the heat is absorbed by the um, food or the elements inside the oven. So the oven is always, this is a, a partial representation. There are many other variables in the system, in, ca in that case in the model, that we are not going to represent. So we should consider some commands, some uh, um, variables like the temperatures or lights and this will provide, as we will see later on, uh, a model of the system. <coughs> so if we uh, turn on the oven, then we can see that the temperature is rising. For instance, from starting from 25 degrees here, then uh, the temperature is rising and is reaching the maximum, what we have put in our command, 200 uh, centigrades. But uh, this kind of shape, we will see that is very common with many other systems. <coughs> For instance, now we have here a tank, a water tank. There are some taps we can uh, open or close, more open, more closed. There are some uh, orifices where the water can be uh, extracted or uh, going out. And, of course, what is important for us is the water level. There are some other um, variables which are magnitudes, which are fixed, like the tank uh, dimensions or the number of uh, orifices. And there are so many other variables, like uh, the water uh, pH or the concentration of some uh, product that we are not interested in, in our model. Then, in this way, we say that we are going to uh, 
draw a partial representation of the behavior of the tank. So, uh, going again to the block diagram, there is uh, the input which is the uh, flow in the tap, and there are some uh, inputs which are the number of orifices and the size of them, the dimension of the tank, which are constant, in that case they are not variable, and there is another uh, variable which is the water level we are interested in. <coughs> In this case, what we are going to make is a balance, uh, an hydraulic balance. The process is in a hydraulic uh, process. We are not uh, interested in the temperature, we are not going, uh, interested in the pH, we are not interested in the concentration, only in the hydraulic system. So we make a balance, uh, the inlet water flow is equal to the outlet water flow plus the water which is uh, retained inside. And what is interesting is if we open the, the tap, then the level of the tank will raise and until the exit, the outlet uh, through the orifice is equal to the inlet through the tap. And we will raise, raise a similar uh, upper level, probably the, the um, units are different. In the case of the oven it was a centigrade uh, temperature and here is uh, water level in millimeters. <coughs> we have seen the DC motor and in that case we apply a voltage and there is a friction, is a brake and as a result we get a velocity. Some of these uh, external variables are constant like the friction, some others are variable and in this case what we are going to uh, balance is the torque. The torque that we are generating is equal to the uh, torque to uh, contrarrest uh, the load, the friction and also to accelerate the axis. And if we uh, draw the behavior of the speed, we will see a graphic which is quite similar to the previous one. So, <clears throat> in the simplest case we can consider a computer sequence uh, and an algorithm implemented in this uh, computer. For instance, assume this uh, very simple uh, code, uh, the initial value is 25 and for uh, k equal 1 until k equal 100, we repeat this sequence and we re represent y of k. And the model in this case is just a, an equation like this and surprisingly the behavior of y of k is precisely the same or very similar to the previous one. That means that the uh, behavior, the dynamic behavior of the oven, the tank, the motor, the algorithm is similar, is analogous. So there are a strong analogy between the, the, these uh, four systems we have described before and of course the simplest one is the algorithm because it's very easy to write, to store, to modify and to analyze. <coughs> so the idea when we are studying or modeling uh, physical systems is to extract the dynamic behavior and represent by an algorithm, by an equation, which is, as I said, very simple. Uh, in this figure that we have seen several times, we can see that there is uh, the, the river here and the water is flowing we can see the cars here, the traffic, and the tra and cars are flowing, and we can see the cable and the information is flowing. So, really these are very different systems, but the behavior of the water, the cars, and the information is similar and can be modeled by the same equation. <coughs> this has the flows, the water vehicles and information. And the simplest model will be a mathematical representation. So, in general, we will have that the output is equal to the input times an operator. <coughs> so, the mathematical representation of a system will be, depending if it's a signal processor, then there is an input U and output Y, and the output is equal to the input times the operator, or if it's a signal generator, the output is the operator times an initial conditions. But in any case, the operator will be the simplest representation, the simplest model of uh, a system. So what have we seen today? We have seen system uh, models and uh, analogies. 
we have considered the system as uh, an information processor and the signals attached to a system that can be internal or external, manipulated or disturbances, measurable if they are outputs, and the representation can be by analogy or by means of a function, which uh, as I mentioned will be the most common way of modeling uh, systems. So what is next? In this module we still have uh, another uh, item which is the formalism and this will be the topic of uh, our next uh, session. That's all for today. Thank you very much.